Hi there guys, Harvey here from the Red and Blue Site YouTube channel giving you my post-match reaction to the scoreline at Carrow Road. Obviously finished Norwich 1, Crystal Palace 1. Um, I did say on my preview on my channel, obviously go check that out if you haven't. Um, I did say on my preview that I would see how I feel about a draw. I'll see how the game goes, how you know the passage of, passages of play, whether a point, if it's a good point or if it's a bad point. Um, and I have to say, I do think it's a good point at the end of the day. I think team in our position, any point away from home in the Premier League is a good point, I think. But um, it obviously can feel a lot worse depending on how you played. If you're bossing a team and end up letting one in late, I think it can feel really bad and really a bit of a heartbreak there, you know. Um, I, funny enough, I think that's how Norwich are probably feeling after that res result. I don't think we played particularly well. I thought Norwich, to be fair to them, we started very well, two minutes in. I thought, this is a really good start. Pressing, looking like we're knocking the ball around quite well. And then their first attack, it's really poor to let Cantwell in like that. No one tracked the run. Kelly was a little bit too deep, um, keeping him on side. And it was, it was so gutting to concede that early because you know that Norwich are desperate for the result. So it's going to be hard to break them down. That being said, they do concede a lot of goals, Norwich. So I always felt confident going, even after we let, let one in so early and looked a bit shaky for a few minutes after that, I do think that we, I was confident that we'd get the result or get a goal back at least. I don't think that Norwich is so bad at cubing clean sheets, 12 points for today uh, in the league. They just let leads go. If they go ahead, they don't hold on to them. Um, and obviously it was very much, it was, it was a frustrating evening for us. Watching the game, I thought that the large portions where Zaha got frustrated, he got booked or he gave away a foul in the first half when he felt there was a really hard challenge coming in from Buendia and he shoved him out of the way after the challenge. He, he ended up giving away a foul because of that. And I think it was a frustrating evening for him. Not much in the terms of protection. And I know it's something that opposition fans may get bored of hearing from Palace fans, but when you see it week in, week out, it's so frustrating that the, the number of fouls, he's the most foul player in the league. And you just feel like all, all the ref has to do is just book a player, book a player and stop them. That will stop them from doing it, surely. Um, but, you know, I think that Jonathan Moss was quite lenient on the cards. There were times when their players should have been booked and they weren't. Or, or vice versa as well. There were times where he probably could have booked Palace players and he ended up not doing it either. So I thought Jonathan Moss didn't have the best of games. Um, and as I said, it was a frustrating evening. It was very much Norwich doing what they're not used to doing and trying to hold on to a result, look to break on the counter, but trying to stay resolute at the back, you know, trying to keep it very, very tight, which is, again, as I mentioned, not something they've been able to do this season. They're very open, typically, because of the way they play. They leave a lot of space. And I do think we got into the good areas. Reed have all had a good chance in the first half. To, to, to get back on level terms um, and we couldn't put it away. Again, a story of our season, not putting away chances, which is just so frustrating, you know? We're getting into good areas. We didn't have that much to do, uh, that much to, that many chances to speak of, in, in fairness. But when we did get in those areas, it was so annoying that we couldn't put, them, put it away because you felt that Norwich, as the game went on, it was going to be less likely we'd get a goal and get a result. But then, um, big big thing for me in this game, big thing to take away is Roy Hodgson and um, substitutions. It's been a criticism of Roy ever since he joined the club and it still is now. He, he has games where you think, why haven't you made a sub? I think Norwich uh, Newcastle away was a good example. We were waiting for a substitute from him to try and change the game, get Max Meyer on the pitch, for example, when it was still level and we had a chance to win. Didn't do it and waited too long. We ended up losing the game. Um, first loss out from a team outside the top six as well. Very frustrating. Today, though, you have to give him credit. You have to give him credit for the timing of the substitutions. It was a little frustrating. It took, did take Meyer off. Um, that's just a personal thing for me. I feel like we have so much better... The ability to play through the lines is so much better with Meyer. I think he's very good on the ball compared to most of our midfielders. But that, you know, that point aside, that's just a point for me personally. I think that... Wickham bringing him on early, Kiate at half time, something we'd not typically see from Roy. It worked. It definitely worked. Um, the equalising goal after a really frustrating second half as well, it came. And then uh, obviously Brandon Pierrick as well. I've just got to say, what a what a moment for him. I'm so, so happy for him to be involved in the build up. Lovely pass out wide to Wilf. Wilf getting it across. Valves, he goes our way this time and we get the equaliser. I'm so happy for Brandon Pierrick. 
I'm so happy for Roy that he's done the right thing and two of his substitutes have made the impact in this game and got us a result. And I'm so happy for Connor Wickham to be on the score sheet after so long out. Um, he does put a lot into his effort, in terms of effort-wise, off on the ball, off the ball. He puts so much effort in. And Brandon Pierrick, this could be the start of something for him. And it could be the start of something for the youngsters at Palace. Roy giving a youngster a chance off the bench. So happy. So a good point in the end. 1-1, on to the next one.